Good morning, good morning. Sorry, sorry I was late. I was busy getting the reason to be cheerful lined up for you. Um, okay, uh, today we have um, information on the Euclid 6 update. As you may remember, uh, ECHA have done an Euclid 6 update which was issued at the end of October, 22nd, 27th of October, sorry. And we found that uh, at least one of our newsletter readers had tried to use the new IUCLID 6 update to talk to the HSE and it was bounced back. So another of our readers, Helen Morris at Lamson's, hello Helen, uh, very kindly wrote to them and said, have you got any idea because we want to do an upgrade on our systems, which is a position a lot of people are going to be in. And they came back and said, we are working on it basically. So there's no time scale, but they are trying to get up to speed as soon as possible. So the HSC really, they are doing their best with everything, but certain things aren't, you know, kind of perfect for us in industry. Um, so something else that's gone in today's newsletter is a question of, would it help if the HSE had searchable UK reach in GBCLP information? Because that's some, one of my bugbears is you've got to download an Excel file, get another Excel file, you've got to make sure you've got the date added to it, which they don't put on the file name actually, which would be a lot more helpful. Um, and uh, and then you've got to make sure you're when you go back to find something in your own system. Am I using the most up to date version? Blah blah. So I've put a poll on LinkedIn, and I'm just going to put the link below this video now, which uh, I hope will be uh, interesting and useful. Please feel free to comment on it if it is. Um, so uh, yes. I'm in two minds about this myself, because on the one hand, it would be really super useful to be able to search information online like we can at ECHA. But the downside is we know that the ECHA website is really super unstable now. They've got all sorts of back office tech issues. And the last thing we need is that sort of thing replicated in GB. So I know it's a compromise, but um, anyway, yes, I think the word I'm looking for is swithering. I am undecided. Good Scots word, that, by the way. Anyway, um, reasons to be cheerful. What we've got this week is Russ Abbott. Uh, it'd been suggested to me in the past, and I thought, oh, you know, I don't know, I'm not sure. But going back to the cigar adverts in the last couple of weeks, and there's some of the Russ Abbott sort of spoof ones for Panatella, I thought, yeah, let's give him a go. So uh, the first one is uh, Master Brain. Uh, and I'm just going to put it below this uh, video now. There we go. Uh, and yes, uh, what took me so long? You know, yes, very, very funny. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that today. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a good day. Um, I hope you've got better weather than us. Uh, and I uh, look forward to chatting to you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.